Get ready for accounting basics and some time-saving tricks because this is Small Business Accounting explained in four minutes, starting now. Okay, taking it from the top, accounting basic number one, basic bookkeeping. Bookkeeping, in essence, is keeping records of business transactions. You need to know everything you've sold and what you've got for it. Then, do the same with your purchases. The better your records, the better you'll understand how your business is performing. Having an up-to-date picture of these incomes versus these costs lets you know if you're profitable or at least moving in the right direction. Time-saving pro tip, create a separate bank account as soon as the business gets started. That way, the new statement will double as a record of all your expenses. Accounting basic number two, running reports. Checking in on key areas of your business and running reports can help a lot. By crunching the numbers, you may notice lots of money going out when it shouldn't be, or notice something that might be stopping money from coming in. From here, you can make changes and get business back on track. The weekly check-ins are things like sales and wages. Wages are probably your most variable cost, so it pays to keep an eye on them. It's also a good idea to keep track of money owed to you because if your invoices aren't getting paid, it means less money in the bank. And every week you should track your profit. Make sure you're getting to keep some of the cash from those hard earned sales. Up next, there are a few things you should be looking at with monthly reports. Firstly, your budget versus actuals. Use real figures from last month and stack them up against your budget to see how your business is going. This one is sort of similar and can be pretty fun. Compare numbers from the same month last year versus this year. From here, you can see if the business is getting stronger. I find it could be pretty inspiring to see that graph trending up. While you're checking these numbers, make sure your pricing is still right. Check in on all those factors that helped you pick a price in the first place and see if they've changed. If so, maybe you need to tweak your pricing. And the final monthly check, liabilities. This means, and I quote, a thing for which someone is responsible, especially an amount of money owed. In real life, it means staying on top of what you owe across things like loans, bills, and taxes. Accounting basic number three, taxes. Tax is money that you're legally required to pay the government. Just like you, your business will need to pay tax too. I'm not going to walk through the step-by-step -step of paying taxes because that could be very different depending on where you live. But as an overview, the three most common types of taxes that you need to be aware of are income tax, where you pay a portion of profits to the government, taxes on sales, which might be called GST or VAT depending on where you are, this is where you add a tax to your sale prices and later pay that money to the government. And finally, employee-related taxes, where you collect tax from employee pay and send it to the government. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was all wrapped up in time and that's it for the basics of small business accounting. I know I finished on a high there with the tax stuff, but it's a crucial part of accounting and cannot be overlooked. Make sure you take the time to seek out the information relevant to your business and region. Plus, don't forget to check out the links in the description for extra information and resources. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're after more videos like this, then we've got you covered. Plus, plenty of other great videos we think you might like too. Hit that subscribe button and give us a like.